Uh, here we are, Long Stocking Brewery. It's 600 metres out of Pambula, which is about five minutes up the road from where we camped over the past few nights. Um, yeah, we got up this morning, James did some schoolwork, I did some uh, work work, Zoe did some work as well. And uh, yeah, we started the pack down process, got all, all wrapped. Um, at the camp where we're at, there's a dump point and a point to fill up from town water, which is really good too. So uh, we filled up the tanks and we emptied the toilet and everything. And uh, yeah, in a couple of days time, we've actually got our 10 year wedding anniversary. Um, so that's on the 10th. So yeah, we've decided to come down to the brewery and have a crack. What do you reckon boys? Check this out. Drive and what I was looking forward to the most the beer paddle. Well, the, the tasters, so all little shots of all their 10 different beers and um, ginger beers, and there's all sorts in here. So, yeah, looking forward to that, boys. What do you got? We got lemonade as usual. Anything other than a fire engine because otherwise, you go nuts, don't you? But look at that, it's beautiful here. We did book, but obviously we didn't need to. There's a cafe and a nursery out towards the front. It's way busier. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to try some of their beers and get myself a six pack or, or a couple of different ones to chuck in the fridge to take on the next few spots with us. Cheers. So looking forward to this one. Uh, uh, this the pizza's arrived. You changed your mind. Are you going to eat some pizza? No, Are you going to pick pick bits no. and play? Oh, yeah, right, eh? <laughs> Where are we? We're at Genoa Campground. It's a free campground that apparently used to be a caravan park and it's awesome. There's toilet, like clean facilities, tennis courts, playgrounds. Um, it's busy. Uh, we're sort of crammed-ish in, not as bad as a caravan park, but it's certainly busy for a free park. There's a freshwater river down there. Uh, and that's the historic bridge and bits and pieces. Uh, but yeah, it's a for a free spot. It's, it's bloody good for an overnight stop, so yeah, uh, we're just here for the night until we continue on tomorrow, but I thought I'd show, show this spot because I think it's absolutely, if you're coming through the area, yeah, like it's, it's cracking, so this is apparently a tetrapod that Cooper is riding, and um, these, well, these are a casting of footprints that were found in the Genoa River further up that way in the National Park and uh, this is apparently what um, the first evolved land animals look like, a bit like a big salamander so yeah apparently they were found in this area which is pretty cool. James and uh, mum are bringing down a basketball, uh, there's hoops, oh, there's basketball hoops and all sorts here and yeah it's a bloody really really good spot. The town, uh, town itself apparently is well, not really a town there anymore. Uh, there was a pub, uh, like a hotel pub, and apparently it didn't really survive the bushfires and COVID-19, which is a big shame because I would have loved to have had a beer there. But anyway, we might go for a walk on through the, uh, well, the town, the old township, before we go and have a bit of a look. So this is the town here. That old cafe, servo, empty, nothing happening there. That's the old Genoa Motel Hotel. And there's, there's the pub. And I poked my eyes through the uh, glass yesterday when I took Cooper for a walk. We walked around the outside of it. And um, yeah, there's still, everything's still in there. Like it hasn't been closed for that long, but she's definitely shut up and out of business now, unfortunately. And that was pretty much the town. Um, this this is the old highway, and it this is now sort of I suppose the main street, and it just goes around, links back up to the new highway, and that's it. There's a few farmhouses and things like that. So not a whole lot 
uh, going on as far as the town goes anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, the, the camp's a really nice spot and it's still a very beautiful spot to check out. Morning, folks. So this is, uh, it's a little bit nicer this morning. Both Zoe and I managed to get up, go for a run, uh, had brekkie and stuff like that and enjoyed a little bit of the sun. It was a pretty good night, nice and peaceful here. We were camped sort of just up there in between those two caravans. It's cleared out a lot this morning. So my hot tip would be to get in uh, like fairly early. We rolled in say 3.34 o'clock-ish or something like that yesterday, Arvo. And yeah, it was, it was chockers. So um, yeah, there's the amenities. It's a donation. I'm, I've got it a little bit wrong yesterday. It's not completely free. It's like a donation honesty system. So there's a, uh, like an honesty box there. Drop in a little bit of cash and off you go. Uh, it's run and maintained by the Malakuta, I think it is, uh, just towards the coast from here, the council. Um, yeah, and they do a bloody good job. There's like, there's fire rings about. Um, yeah, and the, the rivers sort of, like you've got these campsites along here. The river's just down there. Um, yeah, and it's just a, just a really good spot. So we last night didn't unhitch. I just dropped the stabilizer legs down. Um, I actually dropped them down after. So we were perfectly level. I didn't need them for leveling, but uh, us moving around in the caravan with the cruiser locked uh, was setting off the alarm. And I'm glad I found that out yesterday afternoon uh, around dinner time and not late at night because that would have been pretty crap. Uh, but anyway, uh, now we put the stabilizer legs down and it was all sweet. So uh, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was a really good overnight stop. Nice and easy, easy to get to, right on the highway, and yeah, no complaints whatsoever. Uh, apparently, uh, well, there's, there's all sorts of uh, historic uh, little signs telling you about the area. So just over here, so this road, there's a road that runs here and goes up to the old bridge up there. The actual highways, the new highways over the back. Um, there used, this is where the uh, fruit fly stop used to be. So there was an old old building, old shed here. The pad, the, the slab is still over there for it. And back in you know like the 70s and 60s this is where they were stopping people and doing the uh, doing the checks for any fruit to stop fruit fly from getting in, into Victoria. Obviously, uh, at some point that all stopped because fruit fly got in anyway. Um, and yeah, uh, it's sort of just everywhere now. So. just arrived in Cape Conran um, at the Banksia Bluff campground. There was a lovely lady at the entrance there. We didn't pre-book before we came because we wanted to suss out the campsites before we chose one and she was really helpful. She helped us um, kind of pick out which sites would be uh, okay to get the van in. So we are in loop D and it cost us $40, which I was very happy about. Um, so Parks charge you a fortune. So there's two loops, loop A and B are not dog friendly. So we are down a little bit further, but uh, Tim is now setting up the caravan and I have brought the kids down to the beach so we can leave him in peace. But as you can see, it is just beautiful. Not a breath of wind. We are going to be spending the afternoon down at the beach, I think, having a swim and a little bit of an explore. Um, yeah, we will show you around a bit later once we come down for a bit of a splash. Setup is done. We've all uh, zinked and sunscreened up. Got our long sleeve shirts on and stuff to keep a bit of the sun off us. But look at this, as far as the spot goes, I'll walk you back out. So it's a, a really good spot. So there's heaps, uh, I think five, so five or six, uh, what they call loops, which these come in and around off the main road. And yeah, there's numbered sites. Each one has a, its own fire pit. Um, and yeah, there's some larger ones, which is one of the ones that we've got um, just for sort of bigger rigs. Uh, but yeah, we've got heaps of space, everything's set up. Um, yeah, it's just really good. We sort of got bush behind us. Nobody camped on that side. 
nice bit of privacy and the best bit is that you can see right through there or is it there that's the track down to the beach so yeah we literally just walk across here okay <laughs> so he's been checking out the amenities um yeah and there's toilets here um just around the other side there i think there's a uh, little cold water shower and there's one here too um just to get the you know get the sand and salt off you and things like that but um yeah we're about to go down uh, we've had lunch we're about to go down and hit the water for a swim it is just such a nice day that uh yeah we're not gonna waste it so we'll see you down there <laughs> That's ridiculous. Isn't it? <laughs> wow, hey. That's insane. Yeah. The water's perfect. What a beautiful day. Damn. Hello. The water is a beautiful sort of greeny turquoise colour. It's a bit cold. The boys don't seem to mind. I'll certainly be jumping in. It's about 16 degrees. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit brisk compared to what we're used to, but it's certainly, certainly swimmable. So, yeah, how good. G'day everyone. Uh, this might not be entirely uh, normal or the right thing to do. It was a bit of an accident, but we've got a small bag of dog food that we keep underneath the caravan. And uh, anyway, we heard a bit of a rustling and assumed maybe a possum or something was getting into the outdoor kitchen or something. But I just had to wrestle this small bag of dog food. I had to sacrifice a small amount to get it away from this rather decent sized wombat who really didn't want to give any of it up so he's enjoying a little bit of it I think he knows what's going on as far as getting into people's caravans and stuff like that so there's fair warning if you're going to come and stay down here make sure there's no food outside because uh yeah these guys will rip in and uh, he was not afraid of me at all they're as close as I've ever been to a wombat hey mate not scared at all. Anyway, yeah. Sorry folks, uh, I know that you're not supposed to feed wild animals and that wasn't part of the plan at all. But uh, yeah, it's certainly a bit of a late night entertainment for us. Good morning everyone. So after that very interesting night with the wombat and uh, then James woke up with some growing pains in his legs. It was a bit of, a, uh, a bit of an interesting night that one. Anyway, it's another beautiful day here and we're just out for a bit of a walk uh, before we end up going for a swim and stuff like that. We're just passing, we've walked down the beach and just passing one of the picnic areas now. It's just a really well, well kept, really nice area, even for a day trip. If you were, you know, staying anywhere within an hour or so of uh, Cape Conran, yeah, like, you'd, you'd like Lakes Entrance or something like that. You'd come up here for a day trip for sure. There's so much, all the, the being spring, all the wildflowers and stuff are starting to come out. It's actually uh, our 10 year anniversary today. So I got up this morning and went for a little bit of a walk and picked a uh, picked a wildflower bunch for Zoe because you know, we're nowhere near shops or anything. So that was about as special as it could get today. So not really, really nice day. And uh, yeah, we'll take you on some bushwalks soon.
So we, uh, we've decided to come out for an afternoon, come up to Yearong uh, Gorge Walk. And uh, yeah, we've not had too much luck because if you look here, it's closed off. They're putting in a new bridge and I don't know, like that doesn't look like it's gonna be wide enough for, well, it might be wide enough for cars. But anyway, the walk we went to go on this morning, which was the coastal like point walk down south, um, that was uh, getting rebuilt from the bushfires and it looks like this one, maybe the bridge was washed out or something when all the rains came through. But yeah, unfortunately we've um, not had too much luck with the old walks today, which is a bit of a bummer, but we'll find one and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. But we'll see how we go. So, the storms, looks like the water's probably come up way over this bridge. You can get to here, you can't drive across this bridge anymore. You can see there's uh, like posts and stuff that are all bent up that would have been, you know, stopping people from cars from going over the sides. And you can actually see, I don't know if that shows it up, but the sections of the bridge are all a little bit out of whack. So anyway, luckily all is not lost. We're not going on the gorge walk, but the estuary view walk of the Yurongex estuary is right here, starting up this way. So we'll go for a bit of a walk, have a squeeze, and it's already a very pretty little spot. We'll walk along and see what we can see. So we've made it uh, down to the estuary. I reckon we've done probably about a kilometre or so. Nice walk so far. We've come to little viewing platform. You can sort of see, uh, it does, the camera doesn't really show it up, but out that end, that looks like the opening to the beach out there. It's all very swampy through here. just about at the end of the uh or the estuary walk and there's this little little lookout you see out there this sort of the end of the estuary it's not open at the moment but um yeah it's a good little walk definitely recommend coming along what we're going to try and do is pop down see if we can get on the beach and then cut back up through the bush and then follow the trails to the car so we'll see how we go but the boys are just having a little break throwing stuff into the water down there it's all really dark water it's quite tannin stained as you'd expect for a system like this apparently it uh, fishes quite well though and in standard us form over the past couple of days it looks like plan's not gonna work closed for sale i reckon I reckon we can get down through that bush section and then around to that, that edge there. We just gotta get a bit, advent a bit adventurous. They've closed off. Whoa! The amount of water that must the amount of water that must have come through here to create a drop off like that along here. Must have been pretty impressive. Yeah, let's see if we can get down on the beach. We're bush bashing.
Yeah, we'll get along here, I reckon. We've just got to get over there and not get reamed by a snake. Beautiful sand here, though. Yeah, come on, come away from the edge there. This way. Hey. That is some bush fashion. Zoe's not enjoying herself. <laughs> Go, Koopy! You having a good time? Great time. <laughs> and just like that, we made it. We still gotta get back to the car. Oh, we will. She's a bit of a non-believer and doesn't really like bush bashing quite as much as me. So that self-preservation about snakes and stuff, she's not into the idea of coming across a snake. Anyway, we made it. Great success. We bumped into a couple that had uh, walked the opposite way and they watched us walk out through the bush and checked with us if you could get back up in. They were sort of going to walk the opposite way. So yeah, uh, we know that we can get back to where we need to go. They know that they can go where they need to go. It's all worked out well. So basically, we've come from back over those mountains all down through, followed the creek over the back here and then come back around over here drop down to here bush bash through there and out we go and yeah, now we've got to come down to these headlands here walk back up and around back to there so we'll have done i reckon three three and a half k's by the time we get back so nothing too bad uh kids have been pretty good which is nice i just hope uh, peaches is all happy back at the caravan Here's our first snake of the trip, guys. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there he is. That is a... I think it's a brown snake from here. I'm not going to get too close and find out. Ah, uh, maybe a yellow belly. He's a bit light underneath. He's beautiful, though. Yeah, I think that's a yellow belly black. Gorgeous snake. Probably about a metre, metre and a bit long. Just doing his thing. See ya, buddy. So I'm probably three metres away from him. So you don't get up in their space. You let them do their thing. And they don't really have much of an interest in coming and uh, hurting us. They just cruise on. I would, probably wouldn't stir up a brown snake, but these guys, you just watch, let them pass, and off they go. Pretty cool, hey boys? When I first came up, uh, Zoe kept the boys right back, uh, probably 10, 15 metres behind, so I could make sure it wasn't a very cranky brown snake. But yeah, the boys weren't right behind me the whole time, and there's no way that I'd do that. morning everyone we have woken up to a drizzly morning this morning overcast and drizzly the ocean's bloody beautiful and flat so i'll probably get in for one more swim but it's pack up day today so uh the kids have been making a oops, sorry the kids have been making a huge mess playing lego uh zoe and i have done done our workouts and bits and pieces for the morning and now it's brekkie time before we get packed up and hit the road so Today we're going to head to Lakes Entrance, an hour drive. Um, it's supposed to be really nice around there. There's a brewery around there and guess what? I'm due for some beers. So uh, looking forward to going there this afternoon. We're going to stay actually out, speaking of beer, we're staying there at this free camp which is out the back of a, um, out the back of a pub. So basically you can stay there for a couple of nights as long as you go in, get a counter meal and, um, and have a beer, which more than happy to do that. So. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to checking out Lake's entrance. 
we're gonna get a few um, oh, like housekeeping type things done. Basically, the um, the washing machine in the caravan isn't big enough really to do. You know, if you want to do a massive load with all of your bed sheets and stuff at once, it's not really big enough for that. So what we're going to do is at Lake's entrance, we're going to strip out the caravan, all of the sheets and everything like that. We're going to do up a, uh, a big load of washing and drying at the laundromat there. Do a couple of other bits and pieces, shopping and stuff like that uh, to get us through to the other side of Melbourne. So yeah, uh, looking forward to checking it out. Um, Banksia Bluff has been absolutely beautiful. Kind of wishing that I'd stayed and well, booked us in for an extra night but we're on a time limit. We've got to get to uh, Adelaide for the first weekend in December for the V8s. So um, yeah, we're, we've just got to keep chugging on. We will certainly be back here. It's an excellent campground. Um, absolutely recommend if you're coming past here, come in, check it out. The beach is beautiful, the walks are beautiful and the campground's great. So anyway, we'll see you at Lakes Entrance.